Hello everyone and welcome to Mathematics with Marlene. In this video, we will be dividing three digit numbers by one digit numbers. Let's look at this example. The number we will be dividing, that is called the dividend. The number we will be dividing with, that is called the divisor. And the answer is called the quotient. Now let's look at the first example we'll be doing together. Now in this video, I will be doing three long division problems. Each of them are three digit numbers divided by a one digit number, but they all are different. So let's have a look at the first one. Let's just quickly see how we're going to write this in the correct format so that we can do our long division. So the first thing we need is our long division bracket. Okay, now we take the dividend and we write it underneath the bracket and the divisor goes in front of the bracket. Our answer, our quotient, will go on top of the bracket. So when you are completing long division, there are four steps I want you to remember. The first one, how many times? The second one, multiply. The third one, subtract. And the fourth one, bring down. And then when you're done with bring down, we start all over again from the beginning. I know this seems complicated now, but you will soon understand what I'm talking about. And the last thing I want you to remember is when we're doing long division, we complete it from left to right. You will now understand what I'm saying. So let's start. Okay, so we start with our first step, how many times? And like I said, we go from left to right. So we start with five. Now we say, how many times can four go into five? One time. So our answer goes at the top at the top of five, not just somewhere randomly, just above a five. Now we move on to the next step, multiply. Now we say, what is one times four, and one times four is four. We write that exactly at the bottom of five, not just somewhere randomly, exactly beneath five. Now we move on to the next step, subtract. Now we say what is 5 minus 4? Four? 5 minus 4 is 1. And now the last thing we do is we move on to the next number. Like I said, we go from left to right. The next one is 4 and we bring the 4 down. Now that you've done that, you start all over again. So what's the first step? So how many times can four go into 14? Four can go into 14 three whole times. Now what's the next step? The next step is multiply. So three times four is 12. The next step, subtract. 14 minus 12 is two. The last step, bring down the next one. The next one is zero, so we bring that down. Now we start all over again. How many times can four go into 20? Five times. Five times four is 20, and 20 minus 20 is zero. There's nothing else to bring down, and there is no remainder. We end it with zero. So the final answer is 135. So now let's go on to the next example. Now this example is slightly different and you'll see now why I say so, but it doesn't matter how different it is. We follow the exact same steps in the exact same way we never change our steps. So if you just follow those steps, you will get at the correct answer. So the first thing we do is we write down our long division brackets. And then our dividends goes inside and our divisor goes in front of the brackets. 
So now we start again from left to right. We say, can five go into four? No, five cannot go into four. So just to visualize that for myself, to remember, I'm just adding a dot there so that I know, okay, no, five cannot go into four. So I'm leaving the space above the four open. There must be nothing. Now I move on to the next one. I now say, can five go into 48? Yes, five can go into 48. How many times? Nine times. And now I multiply nine times five is 45. Then I follow my steps, then I subtract. 48 minus 45 is three. And then I bring down the five. So now what's the next step? We start all over again. So can five go into 35? Yes, how many times? Seven times. And now the next step, seven times five is 35. And now in the next step we subtract. So what's 35 minus 35? That will be zero. There's nothing else to bring down and we ended at a zero, so there's no remainder. So our answer is 97. Now let's look at this last example. Again, slightly different, but you'll now see what I mean by that. So first we write down our long division bracket, 897 underneath the bracket and the eight in front of the bracket. And now we start calculating. Can eight go into eight? Yes, it can. How many times? Once. And now we multiply one times eight is eight and we subtract eight minus eight is zero so now we bring down the next one so we bring down the nine and now we start at the first step again how many times how many times can eight go into nine and that is one time and one times eight is eight now we subtract nine minus eight is one we still have a seven to bring down. Now we start all over again. How many times can eight go into 17? Two times. And two times eight is 16. And 17 minus 16 is one. So now we see we don't have anything else to bring down. So this is where our long division is ending. So 897 divided by eight is 112 with a remainder of one. So the answer we are writing is 112 with a remainder of one. Okay guys, I hope this video helped you a lot. If you feel like you need a little bit more practice, there will be notes, a worksheet and a memo in the description box below. You can just click on the link and go and download it. And then please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to ring the notification bell and to like this video if it helped you. And then I'll see you in my next video. Goodbye.